very ready here for T1 at the very least, though. And it's going to be such a strong hold. Not even able to dash across the site. Swarms go out, and Victor has somehow been able to make that space. That paint shell so deadly in pistol rounds is going to net the first frag and will give space to the way of envy. And look, it's speaking of space, Victor all the way in the back of spawn already trying to take down a player or two off that rotation. Takes down Skadoodle and is still alive. Everyone alive still for Envy. And these last two players from T uh, for T1 is just... They're scrapping, yeah, for sure. So many players low on HP. Skadoodle needs to find a gap at this point. These smokes have opened up, and Skadoodle's in the back line with a really good angle. He's able to get himself too. Curry chimes in, gets another one. There goes Skadoodle continuing his reign of terror in the back of sight. Three easy ones is though. That's a little bit more tricky. Envy is making a whole lot of noise for a spike nice, that's all the way made. over and made. Oh, all the way over from mid, but yes, automatic going for a massive swing and a massive nade at the exact same time. Well, that's a very, very useful wide swing, but oh, look out for crashies, crashies. Looking to make a little bit of a path over towards B, and it could just work. Marv has control. Two players have control. Now they're just watching out for rotations. Curry comes in, takes down crash. We have two duelists acting upon in this round, and they're again going to try and make an advantage. Mame, no dash, so he's got to get a kill here. He's got one. Holds the spray, but the smoke down, and he's going to get punished because of it. Marv now revealed because of the Seekers, and he's left in this 1v2. 1v2, player time, Marv, player space, has one target right in the middle of his crosshair, gonna be able to take down Curry, but Skadoodle with the wide swing, gonna be able to ice things out, it's a wild scenario too, because Marv just simply wasn't in steps into heaven, they were hoping that that play towards mid would pull rotations, and it's done exactly that, chose stopper to open up the site, and now the Seekers to follow. Skadoodle still sitting in the back. He really can't do much here. He's around the pillar, and there's not much he can do with no support from his team. Gun down from his right side, and Mummy is there with the operator to find Kurg swinging from spawn. It's a five versus two, and just like that, it's an instant save call coming up. Oh my word. That Viper wall still hiding up Kurt. That could have been a little bit funky. Automatic has to hold his own. Gonna be able to get three from this. Crashy coming in, capitalizing on two. Curry coming up from behind. What a rush from Curry. Great hustle from Curry. The fact that Mummy wasn't able to find Curry was because Curry was just hot on the tails of all these players going into Elevator. Around a, a very, very slow take, and you expect a little bit more, more aggression, right? You give T1 all that time to adjust. Mummy's gonna dash straight in. This is what you expect to see, but he's shut down before he can even step foot into the they have inside. FNS good for one trade back, but it's done here in the middle of the site that's causing so much destruction. But even then, Crashy's vulnerable is still able to get a kill back. A four versus three onto the side of A. Crashy's following up with a boom bot right as the smoke dissipates. And he's gonna go down in a heap. It's gonna be Curry getting that kill back. And with that kill, gets up the Seekers. And the Seekers can certainly help here in the middle of the Viper's Pit. Oh my automatic! Going in, taking down Victor. But still, the Viper's Pit is live. FNS is still alive in a 1v2, playing around the perimeter. Curry waiting out for the peak! Curry! Get inside and potentially just an approach. They leave Spike back, and I thought that bird wasn't gonna catch everything. I thought everyone looked away at the perfect time but uh no, oh. the bird is gonna catch a flash or two gonna get that information and we're gonna see a peek back from Brax. Brax is gonna be able to get a kill on top of Victor in the exact same time it is absolute chaos where automatic ends up getting two kills envy thought that they had a gap over towards b but it's a massacre in mid as marv is now left to pick up the pieces yeah it doesn't matter if your lurk is successful if the rest of the attacking force is nowhere to be seen for it Got a player flanking, Marv's quick to look, but not quick enough to get the kill. T as well from, from Envy, at least on the side of T1. It's a very good read to focus, so heavy mid. And yeah, lockdown going into place here, just ready if Brax needs to place it down. But Curry, he's got to deal with it all. He's got to deal with everything, and he's already found two. A third player to approach, and a third kill not to be found. Envy will recover at least that one kill. But that lurk from Mummy, now reinforced here by Marv. It's Skadoodle waiting at the beneath, beneath heaven, prepared for this play. He's held the cross. There are no stars. It's up to him and him alone as no one else is there to support him. Oh, no. Skadoodle. He ends up taking out some damage, too, because of that off shot. And Marv very easily will be able to get that kill. Two bullets. And oh. watch out for Mummy. Mummy! Did he miss out on that shot? Yes, he did. Point blank. But because he moves, the inaccuracy hits a little oh. bit too hard. And again, Mummy, what is going on? Not able to reset. 
That spray whatsoever, so instead goes in, goes in for the spray, the inaccuracy hits, and the lockdown. Because we do have that cosmic divide about to go live, but a whole lot of util, there you go. That nade could have been right on the sweet spot. It does spread around a couple of players in the middle of sight, but it's still going to have to come down to T1. No charges. Fat, fat retake. They are holding on to that guiding light. They at least have two, if I'm not mistaken. And, ooh, there goes again. That Cosmic Divide covering up the back of sight. Great counter paranoia. Crashes is able to repeat. There goes Don with the kill back. Mommy has to hold on the middle of sight. Brax goes for the wide swing, ends up getting the kill. Now that Cosmic Divide is covering up the spike at the moment. Spike is currently being defused. Curry still going for it. Nobody peeking through. Finally goes one. Brax has to get two to try to finish off the round. But it's not going to happen. FNS. Finally. Be hit. Mummy, in a very, very nice position, isn't able to net anything off of that positioning, but thankfully his teammates are here to save the day. Crashy's gonna go down at the very end as Brax finds a double opening, and it's one HP here for at least the raise, as Automatic needs to dance around. Nades will not go in, and T1 a little hesitant to go for the spike play, not knowing the angles that they've elected to take. Victor trying to beat up the Nano Storm and throw a paint shell grenade to delay the spike plan. He's done a good enough left. job to bait it out, and now he's gonna go for the fight. Victor won. <laughs> Victor. No towards mid. It's just totally, totally empty. I don't think Victor cares. Victor needs to care, though. FNS gets covered up. Looks over towards mid. It's going to be automatic getting a kill. But Victor is somehow still alive. He's down to 78 HP, and nobody's going to be able to trade him out. Now we just got to wait for anyone from Envy to actually be able to... Rotate and actually be able to help him out, but I don't think Victor needs the help. He still gets himself another kill. Brax, so that Bulldog helps out. The Spectre in the hands of Skadood. Oh, needs to go big around this corner. It's definitely possible. It's a 3v2. Paranoia in Ska's face. So the Cosmic Divide was charging up a little bit. Now it's gonna be it, it's gonna be Brax in a 1v2, but he already went down to so much HP to Crashies, and his teammate goes down at a very similar time. It's going to be. Yet another round for Envy, a fifth. Yeah, he's side. And there's a Killjoy lock down here. And Mame, no dash available to him. He's got a Cloud Burst, two updrafts, and that's all he's got to his name. He's trying to hold the spray, and he's not going to get anything from it. Boombot would have been his finisher if it not not been for automatic. Sight fully taken up, and Envy should be looking to play this post plan retake. Satchel out. Unfortunate too. They thought that they had this site completely unlocked just because they had B main. Oh, now Don. these could all just fall in shambles, Sully. Dawn still covering up that end line, and Automatic has a good angle in heaven too. Taking down Marv. Up close and personal. That cosmic oh, that cosmic divide is still affecting him. There goes a nade right through, trying to connect onto stairs. And oh crash, he thought he was slick. Not gonna work. Automatic runs right through the cosmic. No aces thus far. Certainly this set could give it to us, and we might have a couple more rounds to do so. At least that's the hope for Envy. Envy has everything that they could wish for, Sully. Everything they could. But T1, they essentially have a red carpet. These players are still stuck in B main. Out goes the Seekers, though. Crashy's still holding up in the corner. They know that the Seekers came out from here, and they're going to go in with a flash. Brax with a clean peek, and Dawn coming in at the same time, taking out money. And now Victor wants to make a little bit of space. That showstopper not getting absolutely anything. Viper spit in the middle of sight. Lockdown going in at the same time. T1 are looking good. Oh no, no util as well for Victor to work back in. No nades, nothing. He needs two kills to get the paint shells online and Envy. Two versus five to try the retake and Brax. Here's the hero again. Here's the goal. <laughs> set up between Envy. FNS lined up in the middle of Tim Can. Marv looking for that early peek and great information as a nade goes into the back site, but a huge paranoia gives FNS the advantage, but even then he still loses out in the fight. Yeah, and really, it's just T1 bursting their way onto site. Mummy, basically no chance. Covered up in that back line. What a take, Sully. Oh, Mummy. Is he actually able to get one 10 seconds to the yeah, yellow? I so it honestly, over. <laughs> is it impossible for Mummy yeah, to yeah, be completely yeah, yeah. frank with you? I mean, Mummy's still with that heel. It's kind of dancing yeah, around. Yeah. Too many good retakes. Yeah, a really big util dump, at least from C1, and now they've used a good chunk of it. That this paranoia, nade, seekers going in, envy. I've got a pretty good advantage. They have that wall to utilize as well in the middle of that site, but so do T1, and they're going to throw theirs up early. Skadoodle up top looking for an advantage, but the lesser guns 
the key thing is here, try and close the gap as best you can and play the numbers advantage. And you see it from Automatic trying to close that gap over towards U-Haul, still trying to get as close as possible. Skadoodle going to be able to get a kill out to FNS. Nice three-man swing from Envy right in the middle of sight to try to overwhelm. And Crashes is going to be able to get a big kill, but the defuse is going in. Nobody stops it. Nobody's going to be able to stop the defuse. And what a setup in the middle of... Nice nade coming in from Victor. Gives Mummy a little bit more space to work with. A counter nade goes in, but Mummy's not shying away from the fight, but he, maybe he should have. He fights the bullet against Automatic. Two players back over towards the B side. And T1, fully focused. Crashy's going to creep his way through and look for maybe a trade frag. Crash is going for a little bit more. Still down to just about 12 HP. And there you go. Yeah, Brax is going to be able to find at least that trade back. Left. Still decent position from Crashies, but nobody was really there to try to support him. Look at this approach, though. Curry wants full control of your elbow, and he runs <laughs> right into the crosshair of Victor. That's, that's unfortunate, consider how slowly Curry was going and how dry that was. No utilization of the, uh, of the flash or anything. No! The showstopper! What? The showstopper didn't go out. Instead, it was the nade post-mortem. Sully, that ends up getting the kill. Marv is still alive in a 1v1 against Skadoodle on the other side of the smoke. And this one's quite tough because Skadoodle is just going to hold on to this cubby. Watch out for Marv, though. The smoke is about to dissipate, and he goes right through Skadoodle. Has him right in the middle. Now they're just going to reset back. The shower's pressure. Marv is still sitting and waiting, but he's only got a pistol, and he still is going to net a kill. Phantom picked up, but he's still on low HP. They might expect him to pivot back to showers, but they're going to leave one. Just to watch this flank. No Skadoodle, way. wary and watching this. Oh my goodness, Mummy's oh my gone goodness. for the boost play. Oh, Mummy on top of the boost. Oh, the pings. He gets Dawn right through the orb. And Mummy, is he still going? And he still has the judge. He had no opportunity to actually pick up a rifle or two. This could actually still be big for T1. A couple of players over towards that back line. There's one right in the middle of sight that could definitely catch up. What and there goes fake. Brax. There goes that Hunter's Fury. The Hunter's Fury is not going to connect. Brax is still watching out for that flank again. And my, oh my, what a setup. An outrageous outplay from T1, but it might not result in the victory. Skadoodle. Had the fake, had the read, got the hunt to Suri up, but now he needs two kills and only with four HP. Not a not not a lot to spare in this situation at all. And he only knows where one is. He's gonna take the peak. No, instead dance was around the Rainy Night box. Uh, at the moment, but it's just a complete lack of info. They actually need to make that approach ASAP. And indeed they do. They finally have Hookah set up, and now they can finally explode onto site. It's just long that they have to deal with. Automatic trying to find a way. It's gonna be FNS and Marv both getting kills, Curry and Automatic at the exact same time, getting themselves combined three. And as the dust subsides, everything is even solely at a 2v2. The Seekers go out at the same time. And Envy are out in the way of the site. They have no way that they can get back in. That paranoia is certainly going to help. But finally, the plant is in. Mame still has that op. Has the op. Bought the op at the beginning of the round. They have no idea that Mame has this. There's still a player over towards Long that they have to deal with, but this crossfire is purely based over towards CC. But Mummy still approaches with a kill onto Automatic. Curry now on a 1v2 with only 55 HP. Still has some flashes too that he can use, but has no clue where his opponents are. He has finally isolated things back over towards Elbow. He's just holding onto this corner. Mommy going in for the wide swing. Curry getting pressured over towards Long. Mar finally going for the wide swing. Wasn't enough time to delay. I don't think it was, Sully. It's going to be Envy taking away a fourth round. Oh. And Sully, they're throwing everything at Envy. Dawn going to be able to get a kill back. Skadoodle with a ghost dream back. FNS, but it's still two kills back to back. 25 seconds left in the round. And it's Brax bouncing in a couple of bullets back in Hookah to take away a kill in Elbow. And it is now Envy stuck in a 2v3. Skadoodle going for a cheeky jump peek. He ends up getting paranoia out. And TP back into elbow where Marvin. Curry is there to get the kill. Oh my word. Marved. Is this even possible? A 1v3 with two Wait. players in elbow. But oh, oh my. Watch out. It's going to be this. Oh no, it's going to be the Hound going up first. And okay, Skadoodle right. Mentality here for the B site. We have two players stuck up in Hookah real, real close. And oh no, the Snake Bite's not going to do anything. And not only that, but they have all the pings in the world. They get that information from the back person on site. And just like that, this site it could potentially be wide open. They have no idea yet. Finally, Automatic is through, taking down FNS. So one person.
person into the back of sight. Marved with a headshot position, gonna be able to take down Automatic, but still a one-man advantage, two-man advantage now for T1 as they take the B site and they're gonna be able to get that spike plane. There's nothing you can do. Paranoia on a guiding light spike straight planted. into Octagon. No chance they're gonna hold that off. A late guiding light just to check for any long presence. This has to be a sixth here from T1. No way they let it slip through, but it's the two best. The duelist, Mummy and Victor. One approaching up towards the long side and nobody is looking. Nobody's really looking in this direction. He has a chance and he's got Victor. Or probably he's got Skadoodle. First blood is drawn on this retake. But there's another trade back from Braxton. Yeah, Victor in the 1v3. He's good. But unfortunately, I don't think he's that good. He does get one. <laughs> that's it's just exit at this point. Yeah, that's another fadeaway nade that we've seen Victor just nail. This to go away. And look at the flank from NB2. It could just work out. It could converge over here on short. And indeed it will. Evidence is going to be able to get one. Make it two. He's fully blind and he's still alive. Dawn finally gets that kill back. Victor coming in from short at the exact same time. And just like that, Envy with players on the flank, they re- Brax is back with his team. Left. Here they come, T1. Here they come. Envy. They have two players to try to hold this back. What a setup! So much aggressive util. And there's still two players remaining in this corner. Brax, watch out for him. Uh, I'm sorry, watch out for Victor in the middle of the site. He's gonna be able to get himself two. He's gonna be able to get himself three! What a crossfire from Vince that the rotations are going down. No, it could just be a fake. Here we go though, Automatic gonna be able to get a kill back onto Marv, there's still one in the back of sight, that's Kadoodle taking out Victor, still with that trade, and this site is wide open, done and dusted, the spike is down. Ooh, Shock Dart though, not gonna Whoa, be able to recognize yeah. it, only is just a single Brax. Recon Bolt, not a lot of info, that Guiding Light trying to set them up, but nobody's caught full blinded, and it's a deadly crossfire here, Mame sitting around oh, that corner, HP. but look at the HP, yeah, Whoa! HP is so lit, it's on, he's gonna find another! What? The Grave Dawn has just won them the round. Yes, Brax got the final kill, but it was a 1v1. Control from T1. It is lost cause here for T1. NB has an immediate plan. Yeah, so much util dropped out from Envy to lock it up, right? That Viper Wall, the Sage Wall as well towards u Hall, making it very difficult. Automatic will clear out the close cubby outside Showers. Right by Shroud and Mummy. He's up close with just a frenzy. It's pistols for Envy, but it's been good so far. Is it good enough to close it out? Dawn still going in, gonna be able to take down yet another one in Mame and Automatic. Back onto Victor over in short. And just like that, these last two players from Envy have been choked out over towards short. It's gonna have to be Marv to pull off an insane 1v4. Blind three. And all is lost for T1, except for short. Of course, they still have those two players there. Let's see what happens though off of this. Envy is still fighting for it. Skadoodle gonna be able to get a big kill onto Crashies. Victor just running right into spawn. Gets himself a big kill onto Brax. Automatic going right in, right into the middle of the pit. Gonna be able to take down one in FNS. Still that showstopper going right into the middle of the club, but not gonna be able to find anything. Victor with a big kill. 2v3 for Envy at the moment, as now Dawn has been left out of the Viper's Pit and outside of the Spike Plant Reach. This is all too tough now for Dawn and Skadoodle to try to make their way through, and yeah, it's too much to deal with. Victor gonna be able to get two more at the rounds from T1 early on to the half, and we're back to square one, Sully. It's yet another tie scoreline. This one's getting fun. And this is what you expect from Envy, right? This is what we wanted to see come out, and that's not done for either of these teams. One slip up could be their demise and automatic completely missing out on that showstopper skadoodle trying to go for a crunch and it's all for not automatic only with a single kill. There's that second. These nades coming in so useful. But again, another trade back, back turn and Marv to somehow worked his way off of a teleport. He's taking that ultimate and trying to make the most of it. A two versus two. And a revive available. A mummy watching this angle is might get punished if he's not careful. I was about to say this Kurd. This could turn into a 2v1 for really either oh, team very quickly. Me. But my, oh my! It's the it's just the control of that back line that ends up leaving the spike without their favorite Marved. With that TP over towards back spawn, it could have been left as uh, as potentially a little bit of a bait, but instead, his prey is instead the predator. He's right behind him! Done! I think maybe they're just anticipating a TP play, but at this point, that's a little bit too risky. And yeah, not going to pay out. Curry, good for the one-for-one -one trade, but he's just overwhelmed from long as well. No support system. And Envy have the site essentially open to themselves. That same situation again, and Crashies might just make it a little bit easier for the rest of Envy. T1. 
Running into that brick wall where it's crashed. He's taking another one down and still has the angle. Dominance Skadoodle certainly not trying to, uh, not, not trying to dry peek. It's crashed. He's really just going for a couple of shoulder peeks, a couple of jiggle peeks, and potentially finding a little bit of information. Find Kill, blast back out. They find themselves at 12th, and there it goes. No Hunter's here to accompany, though. Victor trying to go out big no. and going up huge with another massive kill. Brax still dancing. He needs to come up massive here in the backside. No. And he's delivered a second kill. But it's FNS striking back for a double. Still free. It's so disastrous, but it's still going to be a two on two. Now for T1 to try to hold it back. Brax is still alive, who currently has a 3k. Could certainly make it an ace. But look at this crossfire, though. It's going to be Crashies and Marv trying to play crossfire towards the back line of A, towards spawn. Crashies is just going for a contact peek. Marv, they have no clue where he is for now. Marv has actually gone all the way back Standing to U-Haul, so a little bit safer, to say the least. So Crashies going for the info peek. Finally going to be Marv getting revealed. No, Marv goes out of shorts. No time. Curry still trying to go back, and like you said, no time. They gotta go now. Out goes finally the paranoia. Brax watching out for heaven. That thing is down to half, but Crashies finally gets a kill. Back under Curry with an Envy. 12 to 10. One more route, and it's T1. Who have got nothing to their name. Two ultimates. Viper's Pit and a Sova ult. Hunter Sphere is all they've got to work with here in Envy. All the guns, three ultimates as well. They've got one more as well. Viper's Pit once more activated towards A short, but how do they work it? Owl drone already goes through Gus, and Don is at a tricky position as the guns oh. already blaze, and there they go, one to fall, and possibly another to follow. No way, Don still gets the kill! Dawn is still alive, Marv wasn't able to get it! They're now saying Curry it! coming back, and there you go! T1 is still in it! Look at this positioning, automatic, he's watching for the flank, they tap the spike, shock darts will deny the time. It's timing here. It really is down to timing. Curry can't get swung on here by Victor, but the spike, it's been tapped. Now it's been stuck. Two players on the flank. Now it's the split attention. Victor and Curry need the crunch. They need the play here. Curry's going to take the heat. They shouldn't expect the flank at all from Automatic, and they don't. Curry looking for the final kill as Crash is in the 1v3. Dink down, and he's got it down to just two. Shock darts out, but it's no time. There's another kill. He's got more to do here as the blast back goes in. Automatic and crashes into the site and mummy's looking for blood and watch out one player in the back of sight and curry curry goes down in a heap that's gonna be marved with a big kill t1 is completely choked away from this site what a take shock starts to go in but it's a little bit late for this plant yeah, unfortunately yeah, yeah. they're all just gonna fall away back crashies has only got one shock dart so this post plant's a little bit wonky no storms on it as well but two players here to contest and both of them get stunned this could be collect <laughs> a horrible situation but i can't even get the words out skadoodle might get a second here as well that Trailblazer does a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough as Crashies around that corner is going to get it. But there's the stick. Done! They might be lucky here, but Marv's running gone through just in case. Envy towards a long, and there's a great support system here as well between them. Okay, but the crossfire has to come up so, so huge. This close range. Oh, no, no, the paranoia goes out, and it's an absolute shambles. Oh, no. Some people were on blind, and that just so happened to be the player that could end up getting the kills. And not only that, but this take on site is even faster. Mame is here, and he is safe in the middle of the A site. Spike will finally be able to go down. It is pure chaos, but it's controlled chaos as Envy make it through. Yeah, Storms go down as well, just in case. I don't know if you're RT1, maybe you consider saving. I think at this point, you really can't. You just want to be on the same economic stature as the rest of your team. But Skadoodle is going to get punished. Crash, he's looking... The final ult tour for his Hunter's Fury. It could be one of interest. The T1 in the next round trying to deny that. But Curry, if he can get a kill, it would be very nice. But if he can save the rifle, maybe be a hero in the next round, it would be even nicer. But Envy not going to give anything up at all. 3 0 start for Team Envy. It's T1. Find themselves back on another eco round. Little ult no in terms way. of team Move play. On. Oh, very fast uh -oh, play from Envy. Uh -oh. They're really trying to deny the ult orb access here from C1, and it's not working out entirely in their favor. Victor leads the charge, and it's Mummy right behind, but Automatic strikes back with a kill after taking down the run it back. And now Envy, they slow things down a little bit, but they have full control of the site. The Owl Drone will clear, and they are looking solid for a fifth round here, possibly, as the spike will go down. Uh -oh. Automatic in Heaven is looking to punish someone.
Now, Automatic could certainly look out for Marv as he tries to go for the peek, and there you go! Automatic picking up a big one. He gets a big kill where he's actually able to now go for the Blade Storm. Actually goes for the updraft! Gonna be able to take down Victor! Still one more around the corner. It's gonna be Crashies. Crashies gets a big kill and goes down to Dawn. It's now a 1v1. Dawn versus FNS. Dawn in the middle of sight, right in the middle of the smoke, and FNS comes up from behind, completely throwing a... It's execution. The cam that was thrown Watch into short the by Brax didn't get anything. Nothing. Siri, I think at this point you really can't use it just because you have the lesser guns. There's no point in using it here. It's a basically a lost cause, right. but Envy, a great execution. Marv shows presence on that C site to prevent rotations from coming. Envy cut noise on A. That cam so unlucky that there's nothing that they can get off of that one. And I mean, th there's no info relayed to Curry, and and now the rest of the rest of T1. They're just gonna try it. Nothing to lose at this point in time. See what kills they can get, but they're getting mowed down one by one. Brax still coming back a little bit, and it's Victor. Three out, Seekers out, and no one's in garage. The smoke dropped as well. It's great so far from T1, but that kill definitely opens things up, and now the rotation's starting to be pulled here by T1. There's no chance to cancel. Commitment has been made, and Crash has already left forward onto the site. Brax is finally going to go for the Hunter's Fury, but they actually let off the spike because of the Hunter's Fury. That is massive. It's that empty pressure that we mentioned. As Dawn, even just, just sitting around that heaven area, they're even just thinking about planting that spike, and finally they go oh. for it at the very end of the lockdown when they know it's safe. Crashies with a great angle, taking full advantage of the lockdown radius, going pretty much into their spawn. Gets a pretty good angle, and now it's going to leave. This whole play in a 3v3. Yeah, Dawn is really going to come up huge with this paranoia. It's the only thing that can set them up and the only thing that can really punish Crashy's operator. They still have swarms on the site. They still have a turret for the contact. How do T1 approach? Crashy's still sitting up. It's a crossfire with him and FNS. There's one player over toward Long, and there you go! FNS makes the wide swing. And it's going to make this round possible for Envy. One more player remaining in a 1-5. And they're approaching the A side. And it's only one. Look at this. Don is making an advanced position in the sewers instead. He's trying to hide. Paranoia doesn't hit Victor. So he can still take that space. They know where it came from. And then Crash is just there to punish. Yeah, and there you go. That's all that A side gone. Three players over towards C. One player in B. They come in a, a little bit too late. Now in we go. It's gonna be just about 10 seconds left of the clock. Finally, the plane gonna be able to go down. Mame, who was fire, is gonna miss out on the right click, but still gonna be able to pull out the sidearm. Try to hold this back, but it's going to be a back sight plant with just about 20 seconds left. They know, they know exactly where everyone is. Mame is gonna find automatic in the back. They know they made those rotations on the A site. They know where Skadoodle is. One bullet's all it's gonna no take. Way. Victor struggling to get the kill, but his hot hands to heal up, but instead use it, it for the fight and automatic. Or probably Skadoodle is still not going down. How is this happening for Envy? Okay, Envy, it's a little bit of a disaster. They can't take down Scott, like you mentioned. Take him out. What is the speed? Spike is still down. There's a player still over towards B. Oh, They're waiting no. for an approach. But oh no! Mommy and Victor finally get the kills that they just so desperately need! And again, it's that run it back being so pesky, like you mentioned. Get the hell out of Dodge. Everyone from T1 running away. And now Victor oh my wants to goodness, continue no plugging way. away at that defense. And man, it happens again. Victor gets a big kill over towards mid, but out goes Skadoodle. Skadoodle ends up getting two at the exact same time, but that's a very quick trade for Marv, who was right in the middle of Garage. The person is going to stop this, Sully. It's just been back to back to back to back C takes, and it's working out flawlessly for NB again. T1 is in a full retake scenario in a 5v5. Yeah, and look at how the range of that lockdown crash is taking up all that space. He's not going to dodge it two player stun but there's one in the back marv again being that pesky pesky lurk heat taking off the players in garage and that is fantastic no for men to close up the half one more round they were how aggressive how much of a pop they really had to him and i think we finally see it mental is boomed like literally what team are we watching at this point it's deja vu again yet another mtc site this time for a retake scenario and it's T1 this time with full control. Curry has to start things off right with that frenzy. Gonna be able to get one, but no trade back. FNS coming in from window. Actually collecting up Automatic, who's there for the trade against Marv. So now it's just a fight. Brax going in for the wide swing, taking down FNS. Mommy's still alive with the ghost. Needs a headshot against Kadoodle. But gonna get it with a couple of volley shots. 11 HP there left on Brax. And there it is. It is absolute perfection for Envy. A 